tectonics, let's say, or, or and then uh, there is the boundary here, which is this, this so-called Allegheny Front here, which uh, separates the Fallen Basin for the Fallen Trust Belt. Right. Then this is the Valley and Ridge, which is the the, the, the Fallen Trust Belt. And then up here there is the Blue Ridge, which where the metamorphic rocks begin to get exposed. So if you move from from west to east, you are going down structural section into you know more highly deformed and more metamorphic rocks in general. Okay. Now it turns out that that the Allegheny Front is mostly a geomorphic uh, feature. There is structure to the west in the subsurface, so it's not strictly the edge of the formation, but you know what you, what you can see easily it is the, the beginning of the major folding. Kind of they plants and, and then you have to ask Mitch that. <laughs> well, you can you can definitely see the leaves. And then yeah. here's a piece of like another. You can see the formation there, like some sort of. You know, my basic terms are like bark and yeah. bamboo looking like. Why something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just, yeah, just, yeah, just pick yeah, up little pieces there. Yeah, and then yeah that's okay. Yeah. Uh, so there, there's some of it. Right? Lewisburg is probably oh, white. Oh, okay. Uh, so did you guys just do your own little field trip? Yeah, it's got plant. So we just... I'm going to drive across it.
the slurry on here, Angler? Right? Well, there's a lot of the people that's on the surface. Uh, oh, across the road is oh. Upper Devonian Hampshire Formation. The end of the outcrop is the Mississippi Price Formation. Sandwiched in between, the first place I've ever actually seen it in West Virginia, is the latest Devonian Specticaw, okay, which is an unusual unit. The only place I'd ever seen it before is actually in Pennsylvania, which is where it was defined back in the 1960s. I'm going to tell you a true story. The first time that I came to this outcrop to see the Specticaw, I and another guy from WVU, Dr. Joe Lee Consolidated sedimentary unit, and you shake it violently, you get unusual sedimentary structures that they start to look. Okay, we're looking at the Marcellus, so it's really friable. <laughs> Does it feel Devonian to you? It feels like source rock. Somebody said this is a no smoking stop. <laughs> it's radioactive. This is the Marcellus sham here in West Virginia. This is the Marcellus Shale. That's at least, at least 100 barrels a minute. Let's break it. That's 62. Okay. Yeah, I just have my videographer here. <laughs> Taking care of us all. <laughs> so. This is Mahantango. So this is not, these are not, there's gaps in here. Mahantango, and then these are both upper Marcellus, lower Marcellus. There's contact with the Onondaga. So you can see. parallel shear, Angie. There's some more. That parallel shear. Oh, you yeah. Uh-huh, I can see it shiny. 
Dark, dark gray. I mean, there's no dark gray or no dark gray. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. You got it? How many anticlines do we have? One here? Well, okay, at, at good scale. No, no, no. See, at this scale, there is two. There is one there, one there, right? Okay, okay, right. But then you look at the thing and there is one, two, three, four, five, right? So it always depends on what scale you're looking at. And then if you look at the big scale, then you start mapping. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, from a distance, I think this is our deepest vein right here. <laughs> 
No, that's perfect. <laughs> More this way. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen like this. This is just, this is just basically a mud. I'm thinking, well, yeah, it's got a few, it's got a few tangled coils, it's got a few Google's coil. I think it probably has stuff. It's got various stuff. Let's catch them if you try and find the photogenic. So without doing some, some experience. Yeah, there's some more here. We see that in the Marcellus all the time. <laughs> it's like a little reef. Oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Is that a stromatolite? Look. I'm getting the crime light right there. There he is. Yep. <laughs> So this is the underlying Onondaga and the overlying Marcellus. Described as a regional unconfirmed. Alright. I don't know what you think. I think it's an inner finger in contact over a space of a lot of Can you repeat that? This is described as a regional unconformity. Yeah. I think it's an inner finger in contact. Over about this a stratigraphic interval about like so. There's a tremendous basically, an environment of deposition change here between oh, yeah. the yeah. 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 Yeah, no, the way you say it is Somebody's got to find some fossils, and you can easily make a liar out of them. That's fine. One thing about it, the Needmore has normal marine fossils, which is, if you're good at finding trilobites, this is where we found trilobites. I'm not good at finding trilobites. In postage stamp size outcrops, the thing that I can find, there's a type of trace fossil called chondrites. It looks like a tree branch. Branch. It's a feeding trace. Looks like branching trace. They're always light colored in a dark shaley unit like this because it's it's phosphatic it's backfill. Really it's organic poop. Mm -hmm. You can find layers or horizons with covered with that surface. 
And if I'm walking through an area and find little tiny outcrops, if I can find a piece of that stuff, I know I'm in the lead. So I've got a, uh, I've got basically a, a key that I can work with. And the best thing is, if you can get into the uh, visitor center at Seneca Rock, so you've got a TV and a paper and a game model for this. People take the students there after being here. Yeah, they're there. They can figure it out. Yeah, figure it out so. Yeah. Yeah. so that whole ridge, that whole ridge is mm -hmm. this is Tugger Rock. All the way around. All the way around. All the way around. We mapped it as Reedsville because the Oswego sand still works. Oswego was present, they called it Reedsville. We did the same thing. The world to get apart. Those dark colored pieces are pieces of broken up trilobite cephalon. Hmm. Okay. So, but but it's not the famous trilobite mm -hmm. that's from the middle. It's not cryptolithus like you find in the middle part of the unit. The problem is trying to get fossils out of this, uh, even with a chisel, mm -hmm. it w it won't split. It, there, there's no fissility to this at all. Uh, and you can beat on it for a long time and end up with just basically some broken up pieces of trilobites. And the thing is, on the bottom, you can see it's actually interbedded with a calcareous siltstone, which doesn't help things either, because this stuff won't split either, because it's strong as a There's this really calcareous bed right here that I want to rip out. There you go, Craig. You got one? Oh, yeah. Let's see. That was chock full of them. Yeah, it's a mess. Pretty good. What you got to do, I don't know if he's doing a rocky the battle plan, but it's got to be, yeah. 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 They, have, they have to know how to do rocky battle and programs. The Ohio guys told me, I sent them a bunch of normal shale samples, but then I can't. So years ago there used to be what they called the gun sight, and that little notch in the middle, uh -huh. there was this narrow piece that stuck. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. But he is a really good stuff. So whenever they travel, you never can tell them.